How's it going guys? Today we're going to be playing The Adventures of Batman and Robin on Super Nintendo based off of the animated series and it's going to be pretty cool. Let's check it out. This is kind of one of the, the lost uh, Batman games for the system, I think, because, you know, Batman, the ones for the movies get the most press. They do. Yeah. And I don't know if they should because this game is awesome. So is there anything I need to know here that I need to pick? Um, you can turn all the stuff on. That's just extra items that you can use, that you'll be able to select through. It's similar to the NES game where you can select through the right. items, like the Batarang or whatever, the gun and whatever. Look at that background. That's like, it's that's really exactly cool. like the show. Yeah. Now, did you watch Batman the Animated Series when it was on back in the day, or did you watch it Like, later? I caught a few episodes. Like, I remember the Mr. Freeze episode being, like, a particularly good episode of the show from when, yeah. I, when I was a kid. It was all about, like, his wife. Yeah. Yeah, being frozen and all that, yeah. So I want to talk a little bit about my general feelings about animation. Yeah. Um, so I went to art school for animation. I have a degree in animation. Um, and I wanted to be an animator and later got into comics and stuff like that. But basically, I was a fan of older animation like Looney Tunes and the old Disney cartoons and stuff like that. And... Later on, after like the, because those were released in theaters, like Bugs right. Bunny cartoons, there would be like a Bugs Bunny cartoon, and then it would play, you know, Casablanca or something like that, mm -hmm. or you know, those were high production value cartoons and very well animated because they were being shown theatrically. Right. Later on, in came the 1960s, and then in came Hanna Barbera, and then came in the 80s, and came in the era of like He Man. Which all that animation, I, you know, I love that show and I love He-Man he and stuff, but a lot of that kind of animation was made for television animation, so it was limited animation and it wasn't quite as. Um, it was lower budget. It was low. It was lower budget than what they were doing prior. It's it's interesting that then some, then later later on with television animation, then you had things where the budget got higher again. Like I said, like Disney Afternoon. Disney so. Disney Afternoon, DuckTales. I think later on, like, when Disney Afternoon launched with DuckTales and Gummy Bears, I think the production mm. was higher. But then it's once you got to like Bonkers and stuff, they, right. they stopped caring again. Yeah. Batman the Animated Series it was a show that I believe had a high production uh, budget. It was done by Warner Brothers, and they took it seriously. And when when people care, they they also I think had a staff of people that really cared about what they were doing, and when you when you combine a good budget with people that really care, you come out with one of the greatest animated shows ever made, which is Batman the Animated Series, and it's really nice to know that, you know, um, that a show that was so good actually got a good video game because a lot of times some of our most beloved franchises like say who framed roger rabbit great movie video game not very good so you know it's it's nice that we got a a, a good uh, batman game it's weird because it's like a weird it's like not a platform you know you're like jumping on his pole yeah i'm jumping yeah that you gotta you gotta jump on us i didn't mean it that way <laughs> yeah jump up hit out of the way yeah out of the way it means it's like not hard but yeah. You gotta think about it. It's not like today's games. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh. I mean, he looks not happy. Like, he doesn't want to be here. He, he looks doesn't... very happy. Oh. Not anymore. <laughs> now he's not. <sighs> no, but definitely, like, the thing that first gets me in this game is the color. I like the little, like, straight from the show, like the little uh, facial icons for everybody. I don't think I've ever seen a game that represents the show as well as this game does. Like when you w look at this right now, it just looks, yeah. it almost looks like you're watching the show. Which is cool. I mean, it has limitations, but the limitations don't seem to hurt it. Alright, now it's going to get hard. <laughs> is it? I don't know. This is as far as I played it, actually. Going up! What roller coaster is that, Ryan? Uh, does it re resemble any real life? Does it roller resemble coaster? any real life? Maybe like Steel Force or Twin Terrors. There yeah, was, there was a sign. It's the clearly Twin Terrors. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to jump. 
They don't want you doing that. No, nah, they want you to stay on your own damn cart. Yeah. They don't want you doing that. Here we go. So one of the coolest things about I mean, the animated series is like the fonts they use for everything. It's like very, uh, I don't know, what do you think, it's like 50s era? I'm not exactly sure what they were going for there. Probably like film noir. Yeah. Uh, which would be like 1940s, really. Yeah. I, you have a, there's a bomb weapon, or maybe the track changes at a certain point, but there, I know there's like an arcing bomb that you can maybe throw down. Oh no, they just want you to wait it out. Okay. Yeah, it said hit. Like I'm supposed to be punching these. Okay. I'm almost gonna die. Damn. How'd I die? I, I hit it. You gotta duck under those. Oh, I, maybe, th I think those background things might have gotten you. Maybe it was doing damage. I don't know. See, it's weird because you can. You can only really hit him. There's certain times when you can hit him, you know? The bomb has to be at the right angle, like that. Yeah. He can't go over his head. Yeah. You don't want to jump, you just want to punch him, really. Yeah, but you just sit here and take damage like while you're... You know? Right. So yeah, now it's going to be the straight up fight. Yeah, here we go. Oh, after the jump. Here you go. Same bat time, same bat channel. Sure. Your luck is run out, Joker. Rats, your persistent best say goodbye, Batman. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you like wrestling you moves. Go. Dude, that just kills you. You're just dead. By the way, um, when I was in California, I saw Chris O'Donnell's uh, Did you? St star on the Walk of Fame. Wait, he has a star on the Walk of Fame? I, I believe so. Well, no, that doesn't say like maintenance or something on it. It's like... Oh my God. He like made it himself out of like construction paper. There was like Adam West signature like right by the, the Grauman's Chinese Theater. Oh, and then did the, I do the, like, like Michael Keaton's signature. And then I walked real, I wanted to find P.B. Herman's signature so I, I had to like walk pretty far down the boulevard to find it. But then I kept walking and I walked like really, really far. I went all the way to the end and then I went to the next block over and turned right and under under a bush, you couldn't really see it but I saw Chris O'Donnell's Chris star O'Donnell? It was over there. He was somewhere. actually just laying on a cardboard box behind yeah. the bush. Yeah, basically. <laughs> That's how it went. There's that guy. There he is. He's like an earthworm. Yeah, I guess they want you to have the batarang only for this. Maybe. Batman Returns did that too, didn't it? Did it? Yeah, it might have. Yeah. It's Earthworm Jim. That was popular at the time. <laughs> That's him. Yeah. I like how they have the one spot on it that just like stands out. That you yeah, know. you gotta hit that spot. I have to say though, just like look at the fucking tree. Yeah. Look at all the detail that just went into that one fucking tree. Yeah, the shading's really good. It's like a crack in the fucking, yeah. like, it's amazing. So I probably have to... That's interesting. Is that gonna work? Yeah. Ooh. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, can you go up here, maybe? Yeah, once I, they want me to, they want me to do this, and then they want me to, to do this, I guess. Oh no, they want me to do this. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. And then you can get up on the branch there. Oh. Oh! That it's like Prince of Persia. That animation, it's amazing. Yeah. I wish you could kill them. I feel like I have something wrong. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh shit. I did not expect that. Uh, All right. Hit her again. Go, go. I don't know how I did that. Apparently you can do that. I guess you can grab them, maybe? Yeah. I don't know, I don't know the controls that well. People that know how to play the game are like, fuck you. Yeah. They're like, come on, there's people who speed run this game in 10 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah, we should say, uh, we haven't really played this game before, so if we're sucking, sorry. That's pretty good. There you go. 
Dude, this is so weird. There's I've never seen a game that has that type of obstacle. What, like the ground like that? Yeah. Oh, that just flat out kills you? That's stupid. Or is that I have That like, does suck. Yeah. See what you gotta do is you gotta get to like here. And, and not swing. Do it straight. It should up. allow you like to go down and swing there. Oh there you go. Why didn't we just do that before? Look at you. Look at that. Like George of the Jungle, dude. <laughs> George, George, George of the Jungle. Strong as he can be. Uh, uh, <laughs> Watch out for that tree. <laughs> Let's see more shit we can name from like... 25 years ago and prior. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, and then I died from oh, that. Oh, come on. Of all the things. Oh. George of the Jungle. Oh, it's like a remake of something old. Exactly. I don't. I have to tell you, the one old thing that I don't know about is George of the Jungle. There you go, you found it. Why do the branches fucking break? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Made for you and me. <laughs> do you love how you, there you go, you get grabbed by the throat. That's what I want to do. Why did they make it so you can't punch anymore? Like, why can't Batman punch? I have no punch? idea. Why is there no health? Why are there earthquakes? What the fuck? Because yeah. cactuses don't move. They spent- look, look at those moving down they there. They spent all the money for- Oh, you know why? Because they're they're like evil, like living cactuses because they're poison ivies. They spent all the money on this game on the animation. And they like phoned in the gameplay. Is that all the health I get back? The human world doesn't understand. Is that your poison ivy the boy? The feeling of the plant world, so I'll teach you. Sure. Hey, look, it's Marlboro from uh, Castlevania. Uh, from Feed me, Seymour. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna chill here. We're gonna do this. Hit him in the plant dick with your batarang. Yeah. So no one ever to anyone else. What, hit him in the plant dick? Yeah. You haven't heard that today? No, I haven't. Now you have. She, she's shooting you, you're shooting her. She's shooting you, you're shooting her. <laughs> What's happening here? Nothing's going on. I don't think you're hurting it. No, I'm hurting it when it opens its mouth. Uh, it's like King Hippo. That is not good. Just fucking die! Is she coming out? Yeah, that's it. She's sad. Fuck her. Get the cuffs on her! Book her, Put her, get her downtown. Throw her in the trunk. Throw her in the trunk of the Batmobile. Take her to Arkham. End of the story. That's it. That was stage two. Oh my god. It's good. Oh! It's the penguin! Oh, wait, are you sure you shouldn't do the stage? <laughs> there you go. All right. now we're, oh, Robin's coming into it. Look, a... All right, I'm done with this game. Robin has now come into it. Yeah. Maybe, oh fuck, are we playing as Robin now? Is that what this is gonna be? Dude, we had trouble playing as Batman, yeah. okay? It's the boy wonder! <laughs> yeah, we got our punch back. You hit like select or something? Oh, he follows you. You know what? No wonder I thought this was two player. I much just saw footage from this yeah. part, which makes you think. Alright. I like how Batman's cloak or cowl, yeah. cloak and cat, cape and cowl, yeah. have a cloak. different, a very different animation than Robin's. Like Robin's is shorter, so it doesn't flutter as much. Batman's got a much longer one. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He cool. tends to. Yeah. As. <laughs> he's, he's one. That's one of those. Now we're coming around the corner. You have to roll under all this shit. I wish I knew that from the start. This game's garbage, Mike. It's awful. Look at all this foreground shit. Can't see what's going on. There's landmines everywhere. Ceiling mines or whatever. Yeah, but you're Batman. Yeah, this game's trash. It's, it's awful. Is it bat trash? It's bat trash. It's bat shit. It's the shittiest of bat shit. It's so awful. I hate this game. 
They, they, they tease you. They teach you. They like, look beautiful. They did. They're like, they're like, yo, you like Batman the, the animated series? Well, fuck you. Give me $50. I'm going to give you a pile of shit. It's, Enjoy. It's, it's, it's hard. It's, it, and it's, a, it's a game where they want you to play it again and again and again and learn. Because you did eventually beat that plant boss. It's that kind of game where it's like, play yeah. it a hundred times and then learn how to fucking play it, you asshole. Look, the plant boss was the best thing that happened in the game. Like, here's my problem. You start the game, okay? Yeah. And when you start the game, you got, you're got beating up guys, you're doing the wall jump. I, see, I, I know what you're going to say. You're so, doing all so that. You, you feel like the gameplay kind of like changes and then it turns into not the game that it started out as. Exactly. And, yeah. then, and then the game's like, fuck you, game over, the penguin's back. It's so flawed. It's like, look how beautiful that looks. Look how good that is. It is foul play. That's what it is. It's foul play. We got the boy wonder going down a hallway. What happens then, by the way? Finally, you think, like, the, like if you are a fan of Robin, you think, like, Robin's going to be in it. Then he runs down the hall, and he's just, he's just gone. There's also text in the game. <sighs> Too much! Swinging seems to work pretty good. Huh, let's see. See, why did you get hit there? No re- like, I don't- Isn't that stupid? It, yeah! It's stupid. Cause there's not really a reason you're getting hit there. It's just like you're walking down the hall. I can understand if you go under those little things on the ceiling, you get shot there. Yeah. But you're just getting shot like randomly, like on the ground. It seems to like not have anything to even do with those. Look, things here you on go. This is how you have to do it. Okay. They want you basically not touching the floor. The floor's lava, Mike! The floor's lava! <laughs> But there's nothing that indicates that the floor is dangerous. Nothing. That I don't like. Like, if they're gonna have like landmines, like have something that indicates it. You know in Link to the Past, yeah. when you need to like bomb the wall and there's like a crack? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, comparing this game to Link to the Past is like the worst idea. It's like well, I had to get, I had to get my Zelda reference. In you there, did so. well. You needed to because yeah, it's, it's been it's been pretty far into the video. Yeah, it has been. Yet. You haven't done anything yet. No, I have. There's your heart. Well, Maybe. I'm glad that you figured out the method. See, I didn't realize. I thought it was the things on the ceiling that were shooting something down, but then I was getting confused because like randomly, like right here where there's no thing up top, no little black dot, I was getting hit, and then I'm like, okay, well that's not it. So it's basically an explosive floor. All the level designers dead. What? This is what happened. <laughs> they went they went to Konami and all the level designers died. I'm like I'm like I'm like on this part of the floor you you you, you get blown up, Ryan's like Game designer dead. <laughs> all the level de All designer dead. <laughs> there was nobody around. They were like they were like, oh we're gonna do all this beautiful fuck you game. They're like here's all this we're gonna do all this beautiful artwork. It's gonna be great. It's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a fucking masterpiece. But then we're gonna make you swing on the ceiling with your then back gonna, grapple that looks like a Kodak camera. Look at the server room. Look, it's. Oh, we didn't get the guy on the first floor, so we're probably gonna have to get. We have to get all the dudes. You gotta go back to the first floor, and you gotta get that guy that I got, and I was fucking around. See? Oh button. look, because the lights are on. Oh look at the thing on the ground. The thing on the ground. Now you can see the now thing. Now you can see the thing! You can see the things on the ground. Because you turn the lights on. Because turn the lights on. See? Still no excuse. I think maybe there, there are dimes to pick up. You should go try to pick them up. Dimes. It's weak. I think I just... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fuck you, Batman. <laughs> That's how it really go. Like, if you wanted to be Batman... <laughs> that little scene that happened right there was the reality. If you, if you got dressed up... Like, no, no, not even, like, you or me. Let's say, like, some dude who's, like, fucking... Physically like, fit. No, like, the, like, like, The Rock. Yeah. Let's say The Rock, dressed in a bat suit. He goes out onto Hollywood Boulevard. There's some guy robbing the fucking He's like, he's like a, a... Yeah. Rock comes up, he's like... I'm Batman! The dude's like, yeah... <laughs> Dead. Batman show over. This fucking guy. I would much rather be that dude. <laughs> oh, you mean the guy with the gun? Yeah, why can't we be him? Yeah. Instead of we're going around like... Oh, picking up dimes. Oh, that's a way to get by. 
He didn't see you go over his head. And then I died. Let's see, does it at least... Look. <laughs> Did you see that? This game, like, all the money was spent on art, music, they spent, you know, you know, I can tell you how this went. This is how this game went. So, they were developing the game, they're like, we gotta have this beautiful art, we gotta have this beautiful music, we gotta, we gotta be uh, faithful to the show, we gotta do all that. And then you know what happened? They were like, oh shit, we have to make a video game, and they made that trash in a week. It's hard, but it's hard for dumb reasons. It's, I, I think what makes it hard, here, here, I'm gonna give you my opinion. So I think you're right in that the, when the game starts out, it's more like the NES Batman. You're just going along, you're punching and kicking. So then you feel like, okay, well the whole game's probably gonna be like that. Even stage two, you're on, you're on the cart mm -hmm. and you're still more just like punching and kicking. Right. But then after that, the gameplay starts to change. In with the Poison Ivy stage, now you can only use the Batarangs and you have to do a lot of grappling and stuff like that. So that's different. And then you get to this stage and the gameplay is different. So between all the stages, there's a lot of variety in gameplay, which sometimes can be a good thing because, you know, it, in a game like Contra, it's cool when they change pers angles mm -hmm. and perspectives. That's what makes the game good. Another Konami game. But with this, it changes so much that you kind of just feel like, I, I would rather it kind of just be more like the first couple stages were probably throughout. Right. Maybe one stage here and there, but it's almost like they changed the gameplay style up too much. On top of them changing the gameplay from stage to stage, mm -hmm. it's hard too. Mm -hmm. It's not like they change it up and you can breeze through it. It's 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 difficult and it's uh, so I I think that and you can give your opinion in one second. I just want to finish up my thought. Um, I think that if you were to sit and play this game long enough. Um, if you want to spend a lot of time with this game and learn each section it, and, and you like a challenge, you might enjoy it if you want to spend that much time. But if you're looking for a game more like the Batman Returns game where you just go through and it's more of a beat-em-up, it's, it's not that type of game. This is a little bit more involved. Um, I think that the art style is awesome. Uh, the music's good. It represents the show really well. You're gonna. You better want to play a hard game, though, and you better like variety. So, what do you think? You, you, you know why I was frustrated? I was frustrated because I did come to the game with such high hopes. I came into the game, you know, seeing the beautiful art, seeing the box, seeing the faithfulness to the cartoon, and I thought the game was going to be great. And there were so many game design decisions that I didn't like, and there were so many issues. Like the game started falling apart for me when I saw the Nutcracker. Boss, <laughs> and how, very early, and how it was, it was like unclear that you had to jump on him. Mm. And once you figured out the pattern, that was really cool. And I felt the same way about the Poison Ivy fight. Right. Once you figured it out, it was really cool. But the execution is so poor. Like, you, you have this this beautiful Poison Ivy enemy, and the only thing you're looking at on the screen is the timing of the two stars coming down and the thing hitting it, thwomping the ground, thwomping yeah. the ground, and then. You have to get in proximity of it when she shoots her arrows. That's the fight. Mm -hmm. Same thing. They got this big nutcracker. Looks awesome. Doing all these things. You jump up and you kick. You him jump in the up. Head. You kick him in the and head. Get out of the way. Rinse and repeat. There's that. Now, the platforming in the Poison Ivy stage sucked. I didn't like that platforming. Yeah. It sucked. On the the roller coaster part. Like that the, seemed better. There were super unrewarding deaths. It was unclear what you had to do. Well, I will say on that part, it, it, there wasn't much distinction. With as beautiful as the graphics were, there wasn't much distinction between what was foreground and what was background. Yeah. Those things that were knocking you off, I feel like they should have been more like shaded and pushed to where mm -hmm. they were in the background. If if they were in the background, or like something needed to indicate that those things were gonna hit you. But that's why I said this is a game that you got to play over and over to learn what is. See. And as you were playing that third stage there, we learned, okay, there are actually are little landmines on the ground, which you don't know earlier. So it's like, this is a game that you gotta spend a lot of time yeah, with. That's another thing, those landmines. Yeah, you could go down in the basement and turn the lights on, and then you could see the landmines. But what kind of game decision is it, I guess if you had the x-ray, the night vision goggles? Yeah, well, which, which we did and we didn't use. But, but like, 
okay, there's all these gadgets and shit, but you do three levels without them, and then all of a sudden the gadgets come into play. All of a sudden you're supposed to know to turn that item on. Like, throughout the whole game, you're supposed to be trying out the items all the time. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it's unfortunate, because there's things about the game that could be great, and there's things about the game very poorly executed. I think that inside that game, given another X months or days or weeks of development, that could have been a legendary title. You know, and not a lot of people, uh, to be honest, like when people talk about the Super Nintendo, not a lot of people talk about this game. Yeah. And there are things that are great about the game, like we said, mm -hmm. like, the, like the animation style, but um, not a lot of people talk about it anymore, probably given in that it's such a difficult game. I mean, they give you three continues, and it's like, it, this is a brutal, this is a brutal yeah, title. Yeah, and I mean, we played, when we were playing this game, we played through every level far more than what you're seeing on yeah, screen. I, fe I feel that if, um, I feel that if you or I, spent, I think if you spent more time with the game, yeah. you could beat this game. But it, but you have to put a lot of hours into oh, figuring yeah. out everything. Absolutely. Same thing. I, if I spend enough time putting enough hours into how do you do every single little thing, it's a it's a beatable game. Like it's not impossible, but it's kind of like, are you having fun while you're doing well, like, it? Like I think that there is fun in learning everything about this game and beating it. Yeah. I just think that there's so many other titles out there that it's not worth making the investment. If there were seven games on the Super Nintendo and this was one of the seven, yeah. I'd make the investment, but there's hundreds of let, games. Let me put it to you this way. When I pop in F-Zero, yeah. I'm having fun like from the get-go to the very end. This game, I'm really not. Like I'm yeah. not having a lot of fun. This, is, this feels more like work to me. And some of the games like I do playthroughs of and stuff. Like I remember when I played um, like... Uh, like Dick Tracy or something like that. That just seemed more, or like Dragon's Lair. That was just more work than it was mm -hmm. fun. This seems like one of those type of games. Like if I put the time and effort into it, I could get through it, but it's just gonna be work where I could be having more fun playing F-Zero. Yeah, you know? absolutely, I agree. I, I can't agree more with that. It's, so. it, it, it just, it just sucks. Because there's so many good Konami games, like Turtles in Time. Like if this was like- Turtles in Time is great. If this was like Turtles in Time, with a Batman Adventures of Batman and Robin skin, it'd be... So, my recommendation to you guys is watch Batman the Animated Series. <laughs> yeah, that's that's basically where it's at. Yeah. 